All right, welcome back to another American States and Webcast. Rick, as always, we're here to talk about football. Let's talk about what happened last week. We got game balls, as usual. We'll each give out two. Uh, who's your first one going to go to? It's going to go to A.J. Herrera, big-time running back from McCallum High School, even though he's only about 5'7". Mm -hmm. 185 yards and a couple touchdowns. Uh, they won a big one. That was a big one for the Bell against Travis. Smallest guy in the field, but had the biggest impact in the game. He's kind of come out of nowhere for them, too. I think he's rushed for 100 yards in each of his last three games, had 100 yards total in their first five, so he's stepping up big for a McCallum team that is on the rise. Uh, my first um, game ball is going to go to a kicker, Kevin Marcotta out of Lake Travis. He's not such a Texas kicker last year, but at Lake Travis, you know, even the, even the best kickers kind of get overshadowed by the quarterbacks and the running backs and the wide receivers, but he had four field goals, which was a school record in last week's uh, win over Anderson. One of those field goals was a 50-yard kick, which is also a school record. And with all the injuries over like Travis, I think that um, you know they might need his leg down, down the road, and uh, hopefully you know that leg can lead to some very good things in the playoffs. Uh, second, he game actually game. kicked three uh, field goals in the state championship, the championship game. Too, yep. He's been clutch. Wake I'm going to go with us, uh, Samaje Perrine as uh, the running back. Uh, from Hendrickson, excuse me. The first ever game between Hendrickson and Pflugerville. All he did was rush for 226 yards on 21 carries, more than 10 yards a carry, uh, three touchdowns. He All three touchdowns were in the second half, and it was a, a bigger score than I imagined it would be. I thought Hendrickson might win, but not by that score. So that was a, a big time performance. Very big, um, you know, lots of good running backs in Pflugerville ISD. And he might have established himself as the best one. That's I think good. so. Uh, my second game ball is going to go up to Georgetown. Uh, Randy Niter, he's a senior wide receiver, running back, um, kind of slash guy. Um, ran for a touchdown, caught a touchdown, and threw a touchdown. Georgetown's first three touchdowns and um, their big win, 73 to nothing over Cedar Creek. And granted, all this Cedar Creek, you know, that's still an impressive stat line, and that deserves deserves a little bit of love. That's a triple crown. I don't think I've ever heard of in football. All right, those are our game balls. Uh, check back with us next week, and we'll see who we're honoring for week eight.